I am not quite sure what this is, but that is a natural boiling pot in the water in the ground. Holy shit. That's fucking hot. I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to be happening. Peace, love, and light to all the queen goddesses, to all the beautiful, lovely star seeds, to all my fellow king gods to see the god in me. I see you. I love you, my people. I hope you enjoyed that introduction. The reason why I played that introduction is just to further underline my point in my statement from months ago that 12,000 plus 500 years of ice is coming to the north. Parts of South America is going back under water. Now, you heard that guy. It's boiling. It's hot. Yeah, and that's in Mexico. Now, I want to take you back over to Hawaii real quick. Those that didn't get a chance to visit Hawaii in this lifetime, don't worry about it. You'll, you'll visit again. You'll visit in the next lifetime. Hawaii is getting ready to become inhabitable, my people. They are lying to those people over there. Again, Inky and Lil, or these entities on this planet, has to downsize in order to be, look pleasing into Amin's eye so they can do this all over again. All this is all this is about is energy, souls, and resources off this planet. That's all it's about. And they have all these genetic modified people on this planet believing that they actually belong here when as soon as they walk out the door today, eat today that the planet completely feel different to them. Now, a lot of our people don't understand why the planet or themselves are feeling different with the change that is happening because they don't, they're they not in tune anymore with the earth or, or with mother nature or with or, or our natural sun. They're not in tune with science. They're not in tune with themselves. But however, all the rest of you have been paying attention to mother earth, mother nature, our natural sun and his binary twin, as well as the genetic makeup of, of my God and her star seeds. All of you have and you are using cognitive dissonance and looking at my star family as they heat up all of these volcanoes as they cause all of these earthquakes around the globe you're going to think your government is actually doing this your government has don't even have this power don't have this kind of a power like i told you before your governments can't even pull off these fake shootings in schools and fucking 9 11 correctly but you want to give them credit to do this they're going to pull off a fake alien invasion Stop calling my star family aliens because they're not aliens. They look just like me. You're the alien that's on this planet. Now, my star family right now is heating up the volcano under the water in Hawaii. As we're entering this area here, watch. Here comes a boat that goes right between the two. See that boat? More than likely, let me stop it. Look at that big area right there. That looks like some sort of a uh, underwater plume. And there's one here also. And this boat, I don't know if that's a, a boat that's given a tour. I don't think so. I'm pretty certain this area is off limits. But it goes right between these two areas of water that look like they're being stirred by an underwater plume. If it were lava, I think it would be doing this next to the shore not several hundred yards, maybe even a quarter mile offshore, especially that big. That one there is huge. And this one's big itself, but it's much smaller by comparison to this one here. So let me continue playing. Look at that. That looks like to me that's an old dome or a vent that's releasing gas or some sort of a, um, I don't know, some sort of a, Lava, maybe? I don't know. Something underwater is stirring that water right there. And that water, keep in mind, is very deep. So if it was lava, it would have to travel this entire distance. And then keep in mind, it's going downward and then go back up. Why isn't it doing it over here or over here? Why? They are getting ready to cause a that, that, that whole part... That whole half of Hawaii to slide off in the ocean. What y'all, if the if the lava is bubbling and boiling at the top on the surface, what do you think is doing 500, 6, 7, 8, 900 feet below the surface? It is burning it all away. And that part is going to break off. Like I told you, the volcanoes in Indonesia. Guatemala, come on, it wasn't a surprise to these entities or the or the higher echelon government. They 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 using 
um, they using uh, infrared. They can see the lava moving underneath the surface. You are, are the ones that are continuing to follow your government back into darkness. Your government think they're going to live underneath the ground while all of you Inky die. and Enlil, that moon, that fake royal family is going to go back to Draconia. My people, those that have survived the initial wave, is going to have our hearts waved on a scale with a feather. This is why now all of a sudden they're telling you that it's, it's, it's possible life on Mars because they're trying to hurry up and get to Mars. Hey, what's up, guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. Well, NASA has come out with some would say a major announcement having discovered organic matter or in other words, the building blocks of life on planet Mars. So in this new announcement, NASA has revealed that the Curiosity rover has found organic matter preserved on Mars in a discovery that could suggest that there was once ancient alien life on the planet. And that As I said to you before, my people, we are not from Earth. We are from the cosmos. The black woman is the key. On every planet, every planet, the black woman creates the vessel that is suitable for us to inhabit, to, to walk around on that planet. She is the key. There is no man God. Now, all of you, some of you channels want to say now, um, well, we were all on the same side of the sun once before and, and none of the, none of the stuff is happening. Yeah, let me explain something to you. We were all on the same side of the sun before, but I must ask you one question. One the last time, one the last time that all of the planets were sharing one side of the sun under feminine electron godly energy. When the last time that happened, I tell you when, when we were the Avengers, when we were the X-Men, when we were Superman and Wonder Woman, that's when. And that's what we're going back to. Highly advanced people to a great civilization. Now I want you to listen to this, my people. From Mr. MB33. Uh, but UV, uh, that's why I got special report. I wanted to clarify why those numbers are numbers that you know we've just simply not seen before. As as you know, with regard to our numbers, we established a set of numbers last year from these same locations with the same instruments, and this year the numbers are, are much much higher. What you're looking at is the sky yesterday from Abbotsford, British Columbia. This is what the sky looked like. And one thing that we've noticed a trend with higher UV numbers is on partly cloudy days. Not all blue skies. And you would think it would be just the opposite. But what we've found is on partly cloudy days, these higher UV numbers occur. And this is the Abbotsford number right there from yesterday. There's the uh, reading from the surprising reading from Beaverton, Oregon. And then there's the number again from Amsterdam. But what I want to As I stated to you once before, it does not make a difference what the temperature of the sun is outside. I don't care if they tell you it's 60 degrees, minus 30, 90 degrees, minus 90 degrees, 120 degrees. It will not change the UV level that our natural sun and his binary twin Ra is admitting to Mother Earth at this particular time and moment. It will not change that. And if you do your research, anything past level five UV starts to give other races melatonin, which is that black substance that grows on their skin. Now, the reason why I'm stating that to you, because across the globe, the UV A, B, and C has dramatically increased across the globe in countries that it never went past a two or three it is time for cleanup my people it is time for all unnatural to be removed from mother earth mother earth is sick she's having a, she's a fever you know what a fever does one minute is cold one minute you hot one minute you cold one minute you hot you shaking and shivering right Ain't that what the earthquakes and the volcanoes is doing? Ain't that what planet Mother Earth is doing right now? One minute outside is it's 69 degrees today. And tomorrow and the next two days is supposed to go up to 90 degrees. Come on. This is not normal. Mother is cleansing herself. Now I want to tell you, Mr. MB33 and all other stations, let me make this clear to you. You made a good observation 
the observation was that on clear sunny days clear sunny days the UVA B and C is high but it's not extremely high however on partly cloudy days the UVA B and C is extremely high now I want to tell you why for all you that continue to use cognitive dissonance but now I see all of you channels are starting to change over and I'm gonna tell you what you're starting to change over now a year and a half to two years ago you were calling them planets now you are all starting to call them cloaked spaceships because I stated to you months ago as you all have caught our star family traveling around the Sun going in one side of the Sun coming out the other side attaching their spaceships up to the Sun and then re then unattaching them and then taking off like lightning moving throughout the solar system with no boundaries now you're calling them cloaked spaceships because you know why it's coming to an end everything is starting to be revealed more and more the cameras are starting to pick up certain cloaked spaceships because our sky family excuse me our star family is speeding up the cleansing process on this planet now i want to tell you why the uva bc is so high on partly cloudy days those are cloaked spaceships that are above your head that's why and my star family their technology is so advanced if you look at their spaceships they're using energy the Sun is a ball of energy they're charging charging their spaceships up using the Sun and the ocean water and they're moving from city to city state to state country to country along with the Sun dropping high levels of UVA B and C radiation off of their spaceships there you have it now I want to speak about one more one more craft and this is the black craft that the 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 the, the pyramid shaped black craft that's our check this out talk about wow hang on I've got to pull over That was the original format that was sent in. This is the same video, and what we do in this video, we slow it down, and we try to zoom in on this object that appears to be observing this portal. Um, I don't know. It's very, very interesting. Again, this is from Gulf Shores, Alabama, the night of June 3rd, 2018. It's a Sunday. Let's stop it right here, and this is an insert of a still image that I took and you can see there is something stationary in the sky that appears to be observing this like Nicholas was. That's our star family, people. Please wake up to this. That's our star family. When you see these flashing blue, red, and, and, and colorful lights, those are the real huge, big spaceships that are coming in. And then the little ones that are coming out of it which is not really little they just look little because it's so far away and they're partially cloaked but they're fast and powerful my people you don't understand how great 
of a time that we are living in right now. This is why over Europe, over all these, listen, the reason why you see all the activity is happening over Europe and all China, Asia, Japan and all that, because those are the countries that have those military, Russia, those militaries with all the nuclear weapons and stuff, that shit is getting shut down. That shit, those are the ones that are completely under control. Those are getting shut down. The ground surface people over here is not, is not, is not a problem, people. This is easy. This is why God said he's going to clean this up in 60 minutes. That's all it's going to take, 60 minutes. The main things that they need to take care of that they're taking care of now shutting down nuclear facilities shutting down underground facilities this is why you hear all those underground shakes and booms out in them counties near near the military bases why at night tell me why at night you have helicopters flying so low huh flying so low with the lights out huh what are they looking at i told you before our star family moved through the dark to serve the light and you have to have infrared to see them just like they using infrared to see the lava moving underground. They know what all this shit is happening. They know what all this shit is going to do and what it's going to take place. They just don't have an idea of how, of how soon, this is being honest, they don't have an idea of how soon our star family is going to reveal themselves because you got to understand one thing, my people, they, you still have a choice. All Everyone on this planet has a choice to turn from darkness and move into light. So you should not have a you should not have someone to show up. Uh, 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 you should not have no one standing over top of you with no whip for you to be a righteous person. So they still giving everyone on this planet, including my race, an opportunity to stop what they're doing, to turn to the God of humanity and repent to her. Let go of your ego because it is over now. It is over. It is coming to a point in time where you all will not be able to walk outside in the, the sun. Now I want to talk about the black pyramid spaceships. And I'm going to leave this link in the bottom of this video. Because I told you before when I started waking up the end of 2015. We don't have dreams my people. And the people that's here in America, we have special abilities. I love you. Listen to me. You have special abilities. Stop eating this food. Meditate. Get into your get into your God self. Stop giving your energy out and start putting it inward. You are great. Trust me when I tell you, please. We need no leader. You are free. But listen to me. Those I had a dream in 2016. Now, I want to tell you, like, my, my family, we have visions. We have dreams. One, me and my sisters, we're going to get on here and we're going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. They're going to speak about some of the dreams they had. And my people right now, especially the queen goddesses, everything is in your favor, queen. Everything is in your favor. This is your home. This is you. Everything is in your favor. I had a dream in, in 2016. A lot of you not. I was like, I don't know where I was at, but I know I was indoors somewhere and I was able to look out of the window and I seen people running and I heard all this chaos. So I said, let me walk outside, see what's going on. I walked outside as I'm walking outside. I see cars driving real fast, people running in the streets and I'm looking around like what's going on. And I slightly turned my head to the left and looked up in the sky. And I, I saw two black huge pyramids in the sky just hovering and they were side by side two big black huge pyramids in the sky side by side hovering now when i looked up and i looked over and i saw that it was no fear in me my people i lied to you not it was no people i mean people were screaming people was hollering and screaming. there was no fear in me my people all i did was turn and look straight ahead and i started looking at people and i was like it's time that's all I said. It's time. And like I said to you before, I did a video that says um, Sky Family reaching out through dreams. All other races of people, including us, my people, are having dreams of end times. Because you know why? We are in the end times. Our star family is reaching out to people and telling them to stop doing what you're doing. And as long as you continue to walk in a dark manner, you are going, you are going to go into darkness. You are going, my people, I'm telling you, if you think just because that these entities on this planet created these race of people 
and they we were we were in bondage. No, you have a choice now. No one is whooping your ass. No one is holding a gun to your head. No one is telling you to harm Mother Earth, Mother Nature, and no one is telling you to look at your brother and sister in an evil manner. No one is telling you to do that. No one is telling you queens to go out there and give your vessel up the way that you are giving it up. No one is making you do that. Not no, you have a choice now. And you still have the ability to reach your higher God self. Have no fear. That's the number one thing. No fear. Know thyself. I love you, my people. And if y'all having dreams, listen, I want y'all to share it with me, man. Share me, share with your dreams. Put it in the comments, man, because this is important that we talk to each other. Each one teach one. This is how we grow. Because you never know. When we start putting our dreams together and we start communicating with each other, this is why this entity keeps us divided. When we start talking and communicating and talking about our dreams, they are visions. They are future things that are getting ready to happen. And also we dream about our past. So we so because remember, our ancient ancestors said, never forget. Never forget. Never forget. Peace, love, and light to all the queen goddesses, to all the beautiful, lovely star seeds, to all my fellow king gods who see the God in me. I see you. I love you, my people.